Time now to check in on the forecast. Today was nice, beautiful, a little chilly, though. Let's check in with Michael Fish. Michael, this is one of those days you just want to bottle and say, you know, show up again in like December and January. Yeah, when did we have like eight inches of snow falling, right. 40 mile per hour winds? Yeah. Thanks like for the these later. reminder. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just being a realist here, Shannon. <laughs> Our time is coming. Now, it's going to be a cool night tonight. Notice this barely a cloud in the sky. And we're going to also get rid of most of these winds tonight. And then when you have those two factors, so you have uh, no clouds, light winds, then you look at the dew point and see how dry the air is, 32. Well, that's kind of an indicator of how cold it can get. This is called radiational cooling. That's going to happen tonight. So our temperature is going to dip. Frost advisories for most of the area just barely away from the lake. Ozaukee, Milwaukee not included, but still even in western parts of your counties, still could see some patchy frost. Here's what I want you to take away from this. Remember, it's almost mid-October. Frost is not uncommon for this time of year, especially just away from the lake. As far as Milwaukee this week, your average first frost. So again, not uncommon for this time of year, but still areas of frost, especially just away from Lake Michigan. Average low should be 44, going below that today. You know, some people say today was a little bit cool, but look at the average high of 60. Look where we were, 61. So another average day for tomorrow and then notice Sioux Falls a little bump in the temperatures that's going to move here Tuesday and then behind the next system there's Bismarck with 53. So a little bit of a roller coaster ride as we go through the next couple of days but right now quiet 57 Sheboygan Milwaukee 59 in Waukesha satellite radar again radiational cooling mostly clear skies. We're going to see a couple lake effect clouds for some of us tonight that'll keep our temperatures up for a few but a lot of you temperatures going to be around the areas of a uh, to get some patchy frost. So out to the west clouds, couple showers. Eventually that storm system makes it here. Not quite yet though. You get one more nice day before we see rain rolling on through. So here's tomorrow. This is Monday. Notice we're in the clear, but out to the west, we're seeing that rain getting closer and closer. That gets here for Tuesday. So as far as tonight, it's going to be cool, quiet. Uh, some patchy frost just away from the lake. Monday looking nice, not too much in the way of wind, but here comes that low pressure as we head through Tuesday. Going to see some showers, maybe a thunderstorm develop. Not a huge rainmaker, but still rain rolling on through. So patchy frost mainly away from the lake tonight. Waukesha and inland only 34 degrees, 43 in Milwaukee and right by the lake. For tomorrow, a couple of lake effect clouds, otherwise a pretty nice day, right around average. Waukesha and inland 63. Tomorrow night, increasing clouds, no frost. And then as we head through Tuesday, scattered showers or a storm warm front trying to make its way to the north, 64 degrees. But on the back sides of those low pressure systems, we bring in air out of Canada, which means we get cooler again. Wednesday, a chance of a shower in 54. Next weekend, hmm. that's below average. Is it? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. 52 and 57. Yeah. Well, tonight we're going to have people getting that cold. Those are just Milwaukee's temperatures. So right. next weekend we may see some hard freezes around yeah. here.